Hi everyone. You are watching the My Brain Learning channel. You can learn from these tutorial videos your needed topics. Stay tuned for more videos in this channel. Our today's topic is about electric motor control. As an introduction to this topic, the basic parts are the motor control panel, circuit breaker, start push button, stop push button, magnetic contactor, overload relay, pilot lamps, buzzer, float switch, and limit switch. There are various types of electric motor control which will be discussed after the descriptions of each basic part. The magnetic contactor may be one to three contactors depending on the required type of electric motor control. Three pilot lamps which indicate whether it is in fault condition, running or stop or idle condition. An overload relay is also in the circuit for the protection from the overcurrent in the motor. A buzzer may be also installed to have an audible sound for the overcurrent or fault condition in the circuit. To discuss further the parts of electrical motor control, let's start with the circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is an automatically or manually operated electrical switch that protects the circuit from damage that may be caused by the current more than the normal value or short circuit. This also interrupts the flow of current in case of a ground fault. A start push button, typically in color green, which starts the flow of current in the circuit. It is connected to the stop push button and to the magnetic contactor auxiliary contact and magnetic coil or electromagnet. Furthermore, it has normally open contact. A stop push button, which is in color red, cuts the flow of current then stops running the electric motor. It is connected between the overload relay and the start push button. Stop button has a normally closed contact. Magnetic contactor is a switching device that connects or interrupts the current to the electric motor or any electrical equipment by electromagnetically means. For electric motor application, it consists of two to three main normally open contacts that energize the electrical motor or an electrical equipment upon closing at switched on condition. It also consists of a normally open auxiliary contact that closes when the start push button is pushed and energizes the electromagnet inside then simultaneously opens the normally closed auxiliary contact. Such normally closed auxiliary contact allows the current to flow passing through the idle lamp as soon as you switch on the circuit breaker. Both the main contacts and the auxiliary contact are assembled with the plunger in such a way that a opening and closing takes place whenever the electromagnet is energized. An overload relay is a device that protects the motor from the excess current drawn during its operation which may lead to burning of winding. It has an overload protection either by means of thermal or magnetic action. Magnetic thermal overload relay opens its normally closed contacts in case of an excess current flow through the magnetic coil. While in a thermal overload relay opens its contacts due to excess heat caused by the overcurrent. It is connected from the power source line side and to the stop push button. It also has a trip test button, trip reset button and overload current setting adjustment knob. Overload setting adjusting may be done from 15% to 25% above the full load current depending on the electric motor specification. Pilot lamps are the lights installed on the electric control panel. Typically they have different colors such as red, green and orange. A red pilot lamp indicates if the motor or equipment is in idle or stop condition which can be observed lighted when you switch on the circuit breaker. As soon as you push the start push button, the green pilot lamp will be lighted. In case of an overcurrent in the control circuit or motor, the orange will be lighted. Float switch is a device that controls the running and stopping of pumps both in high or low level conditions in a water tank or reservoir. This is typically used in a larger scale of water reservoir in many buildings or in flood control sump pumps and sewage pumps. It has a contact that opens at water high level that stops the pump and closes at low level which will start the pumps running again. 
limit switch is a device that is used to stop or reverse the direction of the controlled part of a machine. This is commonly used in elevators and automatic roll-up doors. If a certain part of a controlled machine gets in contact or touches the limit switch, this will automatically de-energizes the machine as in a roll-up door. In an elevator application, if a certain part gets in contact or touches the limit switch, the elevator will automatically stop. The type of electric motor that will be discussed today is the across-the-line motor control. It is also called as the direct online motor control. The basic electrical components of the across-the-line motor control are the circuit breaker, push buttons, magnetic contactor, overload relay, pilot lamps, and buzzer. Its applications include the commercial buildings and industrial buildings. For commercial buildings, it is commonly used in lower powered ventilation and, and exhaust system, as well as submersible pumps used in flood control and sewage tanks which both use float switch in a flow level motor control, also to be discussed in the coming episodes. In industrial application, across the line motor control also include the of the conveyors, air compressors for the pneumatically actuated equipment, low powered refrigeration systems, motor driven pulleys and others. Let's now go to the two portions of its schematic diagrams. In the power control diagram, the three-pole circuit breaker is connected between the voltage sources, line 1, line 2, and line 30, and the magnetic contactor. Next to the circuit breaker is the normally opened main contacts indicated by the magnetic contactor followed by the normally closed contacts as indicated by the overload relay. From the load side terminal of the overload relay is connected to the three-phase motor. The next terminal of the overload relay is connected to the stop push button in series with the terminal connected to the line 1 voltage source. The stop push button is then connected to the start push button which is in parallel with the normally auxiliary opened contact. The normally auxiliary opened contact is connected in common the start push button terminal in series with electromagnet and the line 2 voltage source as shown and enclosed by the blue circles and squares in the diagrams. The normally opened contacts of the overload relay is then connected to fault pilot lamp in parallel to the buzzer, both connected to the line 2 voltage source. Furthermore, the normally closed auxiliary contact of the magnetic contactor is connected from the line 1 voltage source common to the overload relay and in series with the idle or stop pilot lamp going to the line 2 voltage source. To check how the power and control circuit works, first switch on the circuit breaker. The idle or stop pilot lamp will be observed lighted. If you long press the start push button, this will energize the electromagnet which will simultaneously closes the normally open auxiliary contact, opens the normally closed auxiliary contact and also closes the normally open main contacts of the magnetic contactor thus will cause running the electric motor. The idle or stop lamp will then observe not lighted. Even if the long press on the push button was released, the electromagnet is still energized and holds the closed auxiliary contact. Upon pressing the stop push button, the electromagnet will then simultaneously open again the normally open auxiliary contact, closed again the normally closed auxiliary contact and also opens again the normally open main contacts of the magnetic contactor which will stop the electric motor. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will like this video. Click the notification bell so that you will not miss the new videos to watch. Please like, share and subscribe to my brain learning channel.